Hello everyone, welcome back. So although our analysis for uh, the Nash equilibrium of this game is over, we just said one health, one health is the only Nash equilibrium in mixed strategies, and in fact only Nash equilibrium of this game. So the, our analysis is over, but I just wanted to make clear that we fully understand what's going on here. So I said the, the point of intersection uh, where the in, uh, best response function of all the players intersect uh, is, is, is going to give us the Nash equilibrium. And that's the only Nash equilibrium, right? I mean, if the best response functions or correspondence never intersect, that means uh, there's no Nash equilibrium, all right? Or uh, if they do not intersect at some point, that means that point cannot be Nash equilibrium. So let's make this argument clear. I mean, it should be crystal clear, all right, because it's very, very important. Uh, so how can we do that? Well, let's verify it through this example. I mean, we don't really have to prove it formally always, but we can just verify it, all right? That's, that's a very helpful uh, exercise to do. So here, I'm going to pick just one point, all right? So I'm going to pick this point because uh, it's, uh, it corresponds to pure strategy. What does this point correspond to? It corresponds to P equals Q equals zero, right? So what does that mean? What strategy profile does this point correspond to? P equals zero, that means t tail uh, is going to be probability one. And Q equals zero, that means tail is probability one. So therefore, that point corresponds to tail tail. And we know, we previously argued that tail tail is not a best response because the second player's best response to the first player's strategy is not tail, it's head, right? So this is tail, this is head. So clearly she prefers to play head given that she believes her opponent is gonna be playing tail. So uh, that's one way. But the other way by just looking at this uh, graph. So here, when I have P equals zero, all right, so this is P equals zero, right? Q also equals zero, I know, but when P equals zero, what is the best response for the, so P equals zero is the, uh, uh, the first player's uh, uh, strategy or second player's belief. So if the second player believes that uh, her opponent is going to play tail, all right? So if P is equal to zero, well then what Q is the best response? Well, remember, uh, the best response for player two is this red line. So according to this red line, whenever P is equal to zero, all right, so whenever P is equal to zero, uh, so this point is one of them, uh, her best response is Q equals one, right? So let's, let me use the red pencil. So this is her best response, all right? Hmm. So that's it. So remember, P equals zero, Q equals zero is not a Nash equilibrium because when P is zero, Q equals zero is not best response. Instead, Q equals one is the best response. So player one, uh, I'm sorry, player two is not best responding player one. Okay, all right, hope that is clear. So now let's pick another point, right? Uh, I don't know why I'm erasing those points just not to make any sort of extra complication. So let's pick another point. Uh, say, for example, uh, this guy here, all right? Uh, or, I mean, yeah, it, it doesn't have to be on the boundary. So let's pick this guy. So meaning P equals, for example, uh, one over four and Q equals one over four, all right? So this point, what does that mean? That means uh, player one is gonna, play P equals one over four. So one over four probability head, three over four probability tail, and then sigma two is this guy. Uh, one over four probability again, uh, head, and three over four probability tail, okay? So is this a Nash equilibrium? Well, it is not. Well, why not? Well, because once again, when Q is equal to one over four, all right? So when Q is equal to one over four, what is the best response for the first player? The first player's best response function is this blue line, 
right? And so according to this blue line, when Q is equal to one over four, so this point, because this point corresponds to the uh, blue, uh, uh, the value of this Q equals one over four, meaning best response of player one when Q is equal to one over four, what is this equal to? So you have to look at this blue line. And according to this blue line, this is the point where P equals zero, all right? So zero is the best response. However, player one is playing P equals one over four, all right? So here, clearly player one is not best responding by just looking at these graphs. So you see what I mean? So this is why this point of intersection matters because at this point, when Q is equal to one half, the best response, according to the blue line, is all these points, including P equals one half. And when P is equal to one half, well, then the red curve is the best response for the second player. And all the points are the best response, including Q equals one half. So therefore, this point of intersection satisfies that uh, player one is best responding player two, player two is best responding player one. And so therefore, it is the Nash equilibrium. But alternatively, how you can show this is the following. So let's uh, calculate player one and two. I mean, it doesn't matter which one you do here, uh, but let's calculate player one. What is her, his expected utility if he plays sigma one and sigma two? All right. So according to this strategy, all right, it's going to be a little long. So player one is playing one over four probability H, right? So it's gonna be U one H sigma two plus three over four probability uh, U one tail sigma two, all right? And then this is also another expected payoff. So this is one over four probability. So what is U one H sigma two? So now, uh, uh, player one is playing H, right? So it's either plus one or minus one. Um, what are the probabilities? Uh, one over four, three over four. Once again, if this calculation is not clear, please go back to the uh, chapter that we talked about beliefs and, and mixed strategies uh, and clear uh, this calculation. So, so this expected payoff is equal to the following, uh, one over four, times one um, minus three over four, uh, because it's three over four times minus one, all right? Plus three over four, what about this payoff? Well, this time it's T, so it's minus one with probability one over four, so it's one minus one over four plus three over four, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna simplify this. So this is minus two over four, all right? Um, so there, therefore it's minus uh, one over eight, right? So two over four is one over two times one over four, one over eight, but minus. Plus, what about this guy? Well, this guy is two over four. So that means one over two multiplied, by, but it's plus multiplied by this three over eight. So if you sum them up, it's gonna be two over eight, which equals to one over four, all right? So this is the expected payoff of player one if he plays sigma one, given that his opponent is playing sigma two. All right, well, question is, is this a best response? Remember, in the Nash equilibrium, according to the Nash equilibrium, this U one sigma one sigma two should be greater than or equal to U one uh, S one prime sigma two for all S one prime in S one, right? So that means, that means this inequality should be greater than or equal to payoff of playing hat, given that the other guy is playing sigma two, and it should also be greater than or equal to payoff of playing tail, given that her, uh, his opponent is playing sigma two. Clear? So what is this expected payoff? So what is the expected payoff of player one when he plays head and, and his opponent is playing sigma two? We actually calculated it here, right? Here. So it's basically one over four minus three over four, or just go back here. Uh, I play, player one plays head, and player two plays head with one, third, uh, one fourth probability, tail with three fourth probability. So therefore it's one times one fourth minus one times three over four. So therefore, if you do the calculation, it's two minus two over four or minus one over two, okay? So you know what? Yes, 
1 over 4 is definitely higher than this expected payoff. Great. What about this? What is the expected payoff of playing tail given that the second guy is playing sigma 2? Well, it's this guy, which is uh, plus 2 over 4, which is plus 1 over 2. Question is, is 1 over 4 greater than or equal to 1 over 2? No, it's not. Hmm, so one of those comparisons failed to hold. That means, therefore, player 1 is not best responding uh, player 2. And hence, this strategy profile cannot be Nash equilibrium. Okay, so once again, uh, these exercises are perfect ways to understand why this point of intersection is important to find out the uh, Nash equilibrium. Select any other uh, PQ values other than one health, one health, and, and verify that one of the players, may, maybe both of them, has incentive to deviate, and hence it can't be Nash equilibrium. So do this exercise. Trust me, it's going to teach you a lot. Okay? Um, yep, that's it for uh, the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium.